Let's get to also the latest updates on the investigation into that horrifying rape case that's been reported in Bengal of a 14-year-old who was raped and murdered. In a huge setback for Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, the Calcutta High Court has now transferred the rape and murder case to the Central Bureau of Investigation has shown no faith in the Bengal police. While transferring the case to the central agency, the court has said that a fair probe into the matter and to instill confidence of the victim's family, the CBI should take over the case. The High Court also pointed out serious lapses in the investigation so far, pulling up the state police for their lackadaisical probe. The court order essentially said that uh, the body of the victim was cremated in a hurry without any post-mortem or autopsy. The crime scene was not reconstructed. The victim's clothes weren't sent for DNA sampling. And this is just a few of the lapses that the court has highlighted here. West Bengal Governor Jagdeep Dhankar has summoned the Chief Secretary and DGP of West Bengal Police to provide a report to him on this incident. This is a horrifying story of a 14-year-old girl who had gone for the birthday party of a local TMC leader on April 5th, where she was allegedly raped and murdered. The victim's family has accused the TMC leader's son, Braj Gopal, of raping and murdering the minor. He is currently in custody. A massive political war also erupted after Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee made a series of insensitive comments questioning this rape case. She asked whether it was a rape or a love affair. She even asked if the victim was pregnant. The BJP latched on to this, slamming the TMC, accusing them of shielding the accused. The NCW has also condemned Mamta's statement, saying that being a woman, the chief minister should understand the pain of another woman. unfortunate <laughs> ये गलत चीज है मुझे लगता है कि ममता दी को इस पर ध्यान रखना चाहिए कि वो खुद महिला है और महिला के दुख को जहां तक केस की बात है तो शायद एनसीपीसीआर ने वो केस लिया है क्योंकि वो माइनर का केस है अ हॉरिफाइंग गैंग रेप एंड मर्डर ऑफ अ 14 ईयर ओल्ड इन बंगालस नादिया अ टीनेजर रेप्ड एंड मर्डर्ड व्हेन शी अटेंडेड द बर्थडे पार्टी ऑफ टीएमसी नेता किल्ड अलेजेडली बाय द टीएमसी लीडर्स सन an incident that's numbed the nation, but not the CM of the state. Listen to how Mamta Banerjee trivialized the rape and murder of this young girl, resorting to questioning the victim. A woman CM questioning if this is a rape or a love affair. Questioning if the girl was pregnant. Actual rape was pregnant. She 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 was pregnant. Imagine the plight of the victim's family. How can they ever hope for justice when the CM casts as Persians? No, no. I'm a mere boy at Sodu was already Sodu was a soldier. Kibol, was it a bola darkarami, Tanai policy, the Amar Mir Zaiza Oise, from Puno de Kilerami. The BJP also lashed out at Mamta for her insensitive comments. The Saffron Party claims the TMC is attempting to shield the accused. Aapko kon haq deta hai ki uska agar love affair hai, to kisi ka haq hai usko gang rape karna. Is mein bhi hamlo ko CBI investigation chahiye, kyunki ye unka mata pita ka jo phone hai, the TMC is now attempting damage control after widespread outrage over Mamta's remarks. The party rubbished all the charges of a cover-up, highlighting that the TMC leader's son has been arrested. पुलिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो रहा है जो प्राइम अक्यूज्ड है वो ऑलरेडी 24 घंटे के अंदर अरेस्ट हो चुका है प्राइम अक्यूज्ड के बयान के मुताबिक और एक उनका फ्रेंड आई थिंक इन्वॉल्व था वो कल रात वो भी अरेस्ट हो गया वो आज रिमांड में आएगा
It's a script we are uncomfortably familiar with, of a rape victim being blamed for her predicament and her character assassinated. The victim's family is now left fighting a lone battle for justice. With Rithik Mondal in Nadia, Bureau Report, India Today. Let's take this across to Indrajit Kundu, who's joining us live from Kolkata with the latest updates on this. Indrajit, hugely embarrassing development this for the Mamta government. I can think of at least three cases recently that have been transferred to the CBI by the Calcutta High Court, which has shown no faith in the Bengal Corps. In this case, too, they made a number of rather scathing observations in their order about lapses by the police in the investigation. Well, absolutely, Akshita. You know, uh, it seems like uh, every case that is brought in front of the Calcutta High Court now uh, is, is being sent to, to the CBI. I can uh, recall seven cases in the last uh, three weeks, seven different cases that have all been handed over to the CBI. And every time we he uh, hear the same refrain from the Calcutta High Court that, uh, you know, uh, uh, they cannot expect an impartial uh, inquiry from the West Bengal police. Even in this order, the court says that in order to instill confidence in the family members of the victim, as well as the locality and the state, it was imperative that the central agency take over the probe. And that's what we are going to see today. Uh, a team of the CBI will reach Hashkali in Nodia and they will take over the case files uh, and formally uh, take the case over. So these are, this is the seventh such case in the last three weeks where the central agency has been activated by uh, the Calcutta High Court. Uh, it's a huge embarrassment for the Mamta Banerjee government. In some of the cases that have been handed over to the CBI, the Mamta Banerjee government plans to challenge the uh, order of the Calcutta High Court in division bench. But nonetheless, given that back-to-back -back cases are being sent to the central agency, uh, there is a huge... That's right. All right, Indrajit, uh, we've lost the connection with him, but he was giving us details of why this is a huge setback for the Mamta government and how in almost every instance, the Calcutta High Court has re-established that they have zero faith in the Bengal Corps. Indrajit, thank you for getting us all of those details.